I'm north of Emmett, Idaho right now. That's Squaw Butte in the center. I drove up here oh, a couple summers ago and uh, just remember seeing some signs that something was for sale up here. I just drove up that little valley up towards those uh, homes up there, ranches or whatever they are. There's cattle and stuff. And uh, just checking this area out. This road right here, I don't know the name of it, but it's a nice paved road. I drove back up the valley north of here from where you can hear that uh, truck coming from. And uh, it eventually goes to unpaved. And I've been almost, uh, I wouldn't say right at the top of that, but uh, uh, there's a little draw that you can't see right now, but I've Gotten pretty close to the top there. There's a uh, fire lookout station up there where you can see the antennas. I'll, uh, sort of right where I'm aiming there. If you Google it, you can see pictures of the facility up there. And I imagine that someone drives up there every day and does a shift, and then at the end of the day they come down the mountain. I'm not sure how they work that. It doesn't look like it's a place where you'd want to live. Pretty isolated. Very peaceful out here. It's dead quiet, except for me yakking. Sagebrush and nice foothills. There's access uh, right up at that intersection of the roads there. If you fork off to the left, there's a sign that says um, weed-free hay and no straw hay. You know, they want to protect the land out here. And I'm guessing that's all, you know, BLM land. So you can go riding. It's a beautiful area. I mean, it's got its own beauty, you know, and the thing that strikes me as being pleasant out here is you're at BLM land, so it's all public access. You can go and do anywhere, anything you want, go off and ride on trails up in those hills, and um, it's very quiet, very peaceful, however, very isolated too. I mean. I'm north of Emmett here, and uh, so it's quite a drive from Boise. But I have to admit that that standing here looking at the butte, of course, the the video doesn't really capture the the 3D view that you'd see with both your eyes, but it's really pretty. You can see Squaw Butte from the Treasure Valley, from Eagle, from Boise, from our house in Eagle. Just see it sticking up, snow-capped.